Welcome on in. I don't know why I whispered that. I don't even know why I'm quiet. There are, my kids are not even here. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm excited to share my favorite products from Sephora under 20 bucks. I started planning for this video, which was inspired by Andrea Mazzoliano. I'll link her similar video below. When I started planning for it, I could not believe how many of my holy grails were under 20 bucks. And they're so, so, so good. So that's what we're gonna chat about. We're gonna get ready together and talk about my faves. I'll have them linked below. Let's dive in. So first up under 20 bucks, I guess I should like actually get these pulled up. I was gonna film this and do B-roll of me applying the makeup and then just sit and talk to you guys but sometimes I feel like getting ready with you, you know, and that's, that's the vibe we're going for today. Okay, so the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. This rings in at 20 bucks. This I would have paid a lot more for. It is one of the best foundations. I feel like it's an everyman foundation. Like a lot of people would like this because I would consider it medium coverage. There's a good shade range. It lasts well on the skin. You can layer it up if you want. It's a glass bottle. It's got a pump. Like it kind of just checks all the boxes. And I just think it's so cool that it's still 20 bucks. So I'm kind of doing a lighter layer and then I'm gonna build it up. But I feel like the light layer of it is really pretty as well. And by the way, I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow underneath it. I applied a little bit earlier so it could kind of set in. It's such a pretty glowy base. And I've decided that if you use uh, like dense brush to kind of pat it into the skin, the e.l.f., it really stays. And so then when you put a foundation on top, it still has that really pretty glow. I was taking a break from the e.l.f. Halo Glow because I thought it was breaking me out. I don't think it is. Um, so we're back, baby. <laughs> And actually that was a long time ago, so it's just been a while since I've used it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on in my, I was gonna say high traffic areas, but like, you know what I mean? The areas that I feel like I maybe need a little more coverage. But yeah, it's just a good all around foundation. If you can find your shade match, I think you will love it. Oily skin, dry skin, obviously this is looking glowier because I have it over a glowy base, but I feel like it's got more of a satin matte finish. It doesn't feel drying if you have dry skin, but it doesn't feel too oily if you have oily skin. Isn't that pretty? I feel like that's pretty. My shade, if you're curious, is 11.5P, and I would say this may be my best shade match in my entire foundation collection. Like, it truly is. It's more neutral toned, and yeah, it's just, it's just really good. Okay, I don't have a concealer in this price point range, so I'm just throwing on one that's new to me. I've still been trying out from Colfi, which is at Sephora as well in the shade Ice Ice Berry. So while I'm doing this, why don't I talk about a couple of brush recommendations. So Sephora has their line of brushes and these two are under $20 and they're two of my faves. So this is the foundation brush, but the mini version of this is called 56.5. It's the same brush, shorter handle. Okay, so it is $20. I love this, actually not necessarily for foundation, but for concealer, I'll use it in a sec. And their number 26 eyeshadow brush is $20 as well. These brushes just wash well, they last well. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I talked about it in the last video, but. Um, oh, I should probably say this video is not sponsored by Sephora. My last video was, um, it was like all about the savings event. My recommendations, not worrying about price, just all my recommendations. And then what I bought during the sale, what was in my cart. So if you wanna see that, I'm not repeating anything from that video. So if you want more recommendations from Sephora just in general, definitely check that out. But this one is not sponsored by Sephora. Um, they don't even know I'm making this video. Okay, wow, that concealer is really pretty. I guess it doesn't matter because it's not what this video is about. But yeah, this brush just works really well at blending out concealer quickly. I've had this for years. It's been a favorite for years. All right, we've moved forward in our routine a little bit. So I threw on the Sephora 12 hour liner in tiramisu. Well, that's not true. I threw on this one in Endless Night and I forgot that it's kind of blue. So then I went over it in my favorite, the brown one. These, I'm not featuring here, but they are under $20, but I talked about them in the last video, but they are my favorite eyeliner, period. They stay in the waterline, 10 out of 10. So this one right here, the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Liquid Liner. This is one that I feel like I had to come around to. For a while, I didn't like it. I was scarred by the fact that like the first time I got it, it leaked everywhere and ruined some stuff. But I ended up buying a fresh one and really, really falling in love with it. It's kind of unique in that, uh, well, first of all, oh, I'm kind of cheating. This one's $21, so sorry. <laughs> but um, it's got this unique tip where it's kind of more like a calligraphy brush, which I just think is really cool. So it is a favorite of mine. I haven't been using liquid liner as often in the past year or so, but 
I do like it. And um, the day I'm actually filming, this is Halloween, and obviously you're seeing this a few days later, but I, it's a long story, but my costume didn't fit right. I didn't have enough time to get it. So I'm probably just gonna be in like a cozy sweatshirt taking the kids trick or treating. I feel like I'm such a party pooper, but it is what it is. But I was like, well, I'll just do like some nice liquid liner. I've got a little bit of shimmer. We'll, we're just gonna be Halloween glam. But yeah, I just find that it's a really, it's just a really good liquid liner. It, it's different than other ones I have. I feel like it stays really well and I just really like the way the brush is. You can do it thin with the tip. You can do it thicker by kind of pressing against it, just like a calligraphy pen. I think that's as good as that's gonna get. If I keep messing with it, it will just keep getting thicker and thicker. Big fan of that. Like really, if I were to get rid of all the liquid liners I have and just keep this one, I'd be content. It does exactly what I want it to do and the price, the price is right, baby. Okay. These two actually come in a kit of minis and the kit itself costs $20. So I'm not gonna be recommending a bunch of minis in this video, but if it's something that I feel like you would get your money's worth in the mini, like there'd be enough uses in it to make it worth that price tag, I think it's worth it. This is a kit that when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, that's actually a really good deal. So it comes with a mini of the Benefit Brow Setter, which is a favorite product of mine. It's a clear brow gel but it is so unobtrusive. And what I mean by that is it actually holds the brows in place really well, but it's not like super shiny. It's not super thick and gloopy. It just does what you need it to do and then it gets out of the way. <laughs> Again, this is another thing where I feel like I could get rid of all my clear brow gels and just have this and I'd be good. Like that, it does what I want it to do. And the Benefit Fan Fest is the other part of that kit. Now this is of course the full size. It comes with the mini. This surprised me. It gives really nice volume and curl really quickly and easily, but it doesn't clump up. And I feel like that's hard to find. A lot of ones that give good volume clump up instantly. This one doesn't. So wanted to point out that kit because for 20 bucks you can try both. And I'm like, that's pretty good. I do have a gift set a beauty gift sets video coming up that I've already planned for. I don't think that was in it, so I, I don't know, I might repeat it, but that is definitely one I would consider. I mean, I don't need it, but you should consider. <laughs> but the obvious mascara I'm gonna mention, this one I think is right at $20. Let me double check. Yeah, $20, the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. This is my perfect mascara. Again, I could get rid of all the other ones. I mean, I have plenty that I also love, but this one is my everyday mascara. It is so easy. It never ever clumps up, like ever. It's perfect right out of the bottle. It curls, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, it doesn't clump, it combs through, like it just does everything. If you've been hearing everyone talk about this and you still haven't tried it, I really think it's time. I really do. I haven't heard a single person try this and not like it. I've had people in my own personal life, not on the internet, try it and absolutely love it as well. If you take one thing away from this video, it's that you need to try this mascara. I could just keep going and it just, it, all, it just always looks pretty. And it will look like this until we are done. On our recent trip, I had someone asking me, this is the mascara I brought, and someone was asking like, well, you're wearing fake lashes. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not. These are, this is the mascara at work. I, I do use a lash serum, the Grande one, but I mean, this mascara is just so Anyone else, I just poke myself. I never poke myself in the eye with this and here we are, I just did it. I spoke it up too much. When you poke yourself in the eye with a mascara wand, do you ever hear like the wind blow around you? I don't know how else to describe that. Anyone? It's like this feeling sound you have when you poke yourself in the eye with it, that it's like wind. I. <laughs> to some of you guys, I'm not making any sense. And to some of you guys, you're like, oh my gosh, yes. Someone can describe that better than I can, I think. I wanna look up that phenomenon. And this is great on the lower lash line as well. I typically don't have mascara on the lower lash line, at least lately, that's been the vibe for me, but it, it works really well down there too. Okay, this next product is one of my favorite cream bronzers. It's from Tower 28, it's their Sculptino bronzer. This is 20 bucks, full size. I like a lot from this brand for sure. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. It's such a good cream bronzer brush. I have so many favorites, you guys know, but it's such a good tone as well. If you're fair skinned, I have the shade broad, but I feel like it so easily applies. It usually looks pretty even. Some of them can be so overpowering and pigmented that it's hard to work with, it's hard to blend. This is not one of those. This is pretty easy to work with. And I do think having a good brush for it makes a big, 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 big difference, especially for cream bronzers and blushes. Okay, so I love that. Another recommendation is the Tower 28 Beach Please Blushes. This one's in Magic Hour. It is an absolute favorite of mine. I've traveled with this. I just, the shade is perfect. The formula is perfect. It's surprising how well it stays on. 
considering it's a cream blush. So this one, I feel like you can apply with your finger and it can look really, really nice. It's easy to work with. Again, it's not so overpowering if you get a shade that's not too different from your skin tone, but it's just enough. And if I ever feel like it needs a little more blend, I'll just go in with my sponge and it soaks up just enough of it. But I love the way it makes your skin look like skin as well. Very super model -y. You know what I mean? But you could totally apply it with a brush as well. That look nice. So both of those are 20 bucks. Highly recommend both. They're so good. Okay, one of my favorite under eye powders is $19. It's from LYS Beauty. It's their triple fix setting powder. This is one of the best under eye setting powders I've ever tried, truly. Like I go back to this time and time again. It's, it just flattens the area, especially like for right now, I've got a little bit of like oil going on from the concealer and a little bit of the blush that got up there. This does such a good job at flattening that area out and making it look, I mean, it looks so much more perfected than this side, doesn't it? And of course it helps hold the concealer in place too. $19 for this, you will never run out of it. I mean, you would eventually, I guess, but you know what I mean? It's gonna last you forever if you're just using it for under eye. Obviously you can set your face with it as well. There was a while where people were talking about it and then, I don't know, we all moved on, but it is, it is so, so good. So we're gonna tap that on. My T-zone area too. I feel like it does such a nice thin layer. I definitely, I like it for setting my face just a bit, but I definitely like it best for the under eye. And you can do both, baby. Okay, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the Rare Beauty Kind Words lip liners. You've probably heard of these a lot. They're just really good lip liners. They're creamy, they're retractable, they're, I mean, obviously more affordable. They're $15. I have a lot of shades. I love them all. I really do. Wise is a really good fall one, I feel like. It can be a little bit deep, but if you, I don't know, I'll kind of like lightly do it and blend it in. But they're creamy, but they'll still stay in place. And I think that's unique. It's kind of hard to find in a lip liner. And because they are creamier, you can absolutely color in the whole lip. And you're, I feel like it looks, I mean, I'll do it right now a little bit. It looks like you're wearing a full on lipstick because it's that creamy. So this one's obviously a little bit darker, but this one in Worthy is a very, very popular one. It's probably my most used one, more of just like a nudie pink. And this one's a little bit warmer in the shade Fun. It's more like peachy and that's Wise that I just put on. So I have quite a few others that aren't even in front of me right now, but yeah, 15 bucks for these. And if you're getting it during the savings event, you can save some money, but either way, it's such a good deal for that. And then another product I had to mention are the Tower 28 Milk Jelly Glosses. What do they actually call these? Shine On Lip Jellies. These are $16, one of my favorite formulas. I'm gonna put on the shade Cashew right now just because it seems like the right vibe. This is a purse lippy for me. Like, I don't need a mirror with it necessarily, but they still can have some color to it. Like, that definitely had a peachy color and it, or like a nude color, and it definitely comes through but they're not sticky. They're like the weirdest gloss. I feel like this is one of the glosses that launched the lip oil revolution. It was one of the earlier ones a few years ago to like become popular that have this more oily feeling. They're not sticky. They did send me in PR this new shade. Actually, I do want to swatch it. I probably should have put it on, but it's their Lip Drip Duo Cookie Butter Edition. So it's a clear one in chill. That will be useful actually. Um, and then this one's in chestnut and it's got like a glitter to it. Ooh. Anyway, for 16 bucks, I mean, this duo is not $16. It's 24, but just to get a shade that you know you will use, it will live in your purse. You will absolutely love it. I just love this formula so much. And anytime I like forget it exists and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just so happy for those next few weeks using that. Cause I'm like, man, like why did I ever stop using this? <laughs> so that's everything. I loved doing this video. I could easily, easily do a part two or a part three to this if you'd like in the next month or so, um, just because there are so many good products. Like I mentioned earlier, I do have a beauty gift sets video coming up very, very soon if you are interested in that and seeing what's worth it, what's a good deal, what products are out there. I just feel like it's a great time to get gifts for people, obviously, but it's also a great time if you know there are a few things from a brand that you were wanting to try Getting them in a kit where you save money, you get to try more than one product, I feel like is it's just a good time to, to shop. <laughs> and brands know it too. That's why they're pushing out all these gift sets. There's, all, there's so many, it's like genuinely overwhelming. It took me hours the other day to plan my gift sets video that's coming up. And even still, I know some of them are gonna sell out and I'll have to like 
rework through the list. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I have links to everything I mentioned down below. If you do shop through those links, it does support me and my channel. So thank you ahead of time if you decide to shop that way. Um, no biggie if not. And yeah, I guess that's all. I feel like I flew through this video. Usually I film for like ever. And this is still a long video, but you guys know if you've been around, my videos can get long. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.